Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. It is eerily quiet in here because I'm in the house by myself and it's freaking me out because I'm so used to so much noise, but I'm kind of loving it. This is going to be my two month update for the 50 Shades of Purple Project Pan. This project is a Pantastic Ladies collaboration project. They are a group over on Facebook and if you'd like to join, you are more than welcome to just hop on over to Facebook and search for the Pantastic Ladies. You'll have to answer a few questions and you're in. It's a place where we can collaborate about project panning. I mean, that's really all it is. We're talking about project panning over there. And if you're interested in project panning, come join us. The point of this project is to work on 50 products that are purple in nature. They don't have to actually be purple. They might just have purple packaging or they might have the word purple in them, but it has to do with purple. I couldn't say no to this project, but since I was already doing so much project panning when this project started two months ago, I decided to set a lot of usage goals on these products rather than intending to finish all 50 products in this project. It just wouldn't be possible. I'd be setting myself up for failure. So that's what I've been doing and it's been going well so far. I had set goals for two products and I met my goal on one of them this past month. That is this guy right here, my Physician's Formula Kajal Eyeliner, the Shimmer Strips Cool Kajal Eyeliner in brown eyes. It's just a purple eyeliner, and I wanted to use this 20 times, right? Yeah. My goal was to use this 20 times, and I did it. This was a great eyeliner. I really like how it stayed in my waterline. I liked it for my upper lash line. It is a bit shorter than it was when I rolled it into this project. I don't know how it goes when you get towards the bottom of this pencil because it starts out as this pointy tip and it gets quite chubby as you get towards the bottom, but I have hit my goal for 20 uses on this and it is rolling out of the project as of today. That's okay, I have other purple eyeliners I need to get to within this project, so one less, I'm happy with it. The other product I had set a goal for was this sample lotion from Bath & Body Works. This is Twilight Woods, one of my all-time favorite scents ever. I love this scent, and I recently saw that it looks like they're discontinuing it, which is a little bit devastating, but... Somehow I will survive. My goal was to finish this and I did not meet that goal. I've used more than half at this point. Um, I'm right around here. So I think I should be able to finish this off by next month, but I didn't make it happen for today. So I'm gonna keep working on this. Prior to today, I had already finished one product at last month's update. So that means there's 47 products left in this project, aside from the two I just talked about. I'm not gonna talk about all 47 in this update because a lot of them I haven't used yet. So there's not much to say. So I've pulled together the products that I do have something to talk about and the rest we'll talk about at a later date. The most exciting update for today is that I painted my nails. Oh my gosh. The dry spell has been broken once again. It has been so long since I've painted my fingernails. I've been painting my toes this whole time, but I really haven't painted my nails in such a long time. And Sunday night, Hazel and I had a little Manny session. It was a lot of fun. I painted her nails and then I painted my nails. And I used this polish right here called Hue New. And my goal for this polish is to paint my nails five times with it. So one down, four to go. I cannot believe it. This is the Finger Paints brand polish. I picked this up at Sally Beauty Supply. I am a big fan of the Finger Paints line of nail polish. They hold up really well. Um, of course, since I've painted my nails on Sunday night, I haven't done dishes because I don't wanna ruin my manicure. And that is the current problem with my life. I know I could buy those rubber gloves uh, and they do help. I have bought them in the past, but after a few washes, they get ripped and then they start to stink and I have to throw them away. And I don't want to buy things that I just throw away after a few uses. So I don't end up using the rubber gloves. 
but you guys have given me that suggestion in the past and I have tried it. I just don't want to keep buying rubber gloves that I'm going to use like for a week or two and then throw them away. So that's the problem with that. So maybe one day again, I will do dishes when we're out of clean dishes to eat off of. But for now, I'm really enjoying my manicure and I'm trying to keep it going for as long as possible. I did an accent nail. Look at that. I'm so fancy. I really like this color too. It's fun. The next product I want to show you guys is this guy. This is a very dusty a hair product called Small Talk from Bedhead. I probably bought this a million years ago. It's been sitting in my cabinet and right before this project started, I kind of rediscovered it in my cabinet and thought, man, this little squatty ball is taking up quite a bit of space in my cabinet and if I could get it out, that would be good. So I thought, perfect, I'll put it in the 50 Shades of Purple project and use it up in here. And I've been using it. I wash my hair every three days religiously. And every time I wash my hair, I put one pump of this in my hair. The project has been going on for two months. That's 60 days. So I've probably used this 60 divided by three, 20 times. I've probably used this at least 19 or 20 times now and I'm still at the same place. Now in my defense, I marked this a little bit low at the start of the project. So the fill line was at the top of the nail polish line and now the fill line is at the bottom of the nail polish line. But what the heck, I've used this 19 times. 19, it's not going. Of course, with the shape of this bottle, I am at the widest point. So as I continue to work my way down, it should start going faster. But I cannot believe that after using this 19 times, this is all I have to show for it. I did not see that coming. It's shocking. Next, I wanna show you my ultra glossy lip from ColourPop in the shade Wishes. I'm wearing this now on top of the hot pink lipstick sample that's in my advent calendar project pan and I really forgot how much I love these glosses these purpley these purpley pinky lip glosses with a blue flash I love these I have another one of these from a different brand from NYX in this project as well and I keep buying these kind of products over and over because I really do love them so even though I've only worn this twice in the past month I do see myself using this a lot more over the summer, especially since where I live, we have entered phase five in the COVID recovery plan or whatever they call it. And we can now go out to certain locations without a mask on. It's gloss time, baby. That's all I gotta say, it is gloss time. I'm bringing back the gloss. I've been wearing masks for a year. Well, we, we've all been wearing masks for well over a year and my lip glosses have suffered, so I'm ready to start wearing lip glosses again and I'm very excited. Since hitting my goal on that Physician's Formula eyeliner, I have started reaching for this Stila one more. This is the shade Tetra. I'm wearing this today. My goal for this one, I think, is 30 uses. Yeah. My goal for this one is to use it 30 times. Why that one was 20 times and this one is 30 times? I don't know, I was pulling numbers out of a hat. That's all I can say about that. But currently I am at four uses. So I got a long way to go on this, but I have four uses on this now and um, 26 more to go. All right, I'm really excited about this next product because it's almost gone. My body wash. This is the Body Recipes White Chocolate Raspberry Shower Gel. I just started using this this past month and I'm already down to here. It's almost gone already. Um, this is like a dollar store type of body wash. It smells very nice and it works just fine. But oh my gosh, whoever thought to put body gel in a bottle with a twist off lid is not the smartest person on earth. This just is not a functional way of using shower gel. It's a pain in the butt. I cannot wait for this to be gone for that reason alone. And I feel like I'm using a little bit more product with each wash than I would if I was using like a Bath and Body Works shower gel or even an Olay shower gel. 
um, this is going a bit quicker. Plus it is a gel formula, which I don't know. I don't like shower gels in gel formula. I like a body wash that's very creamy and um, doesn't kind of stick together. I feel like sometimes too much product comes out more than I really wanted. And then I'm stuck with this debate, like do I try to get it back in the bottle or do I just use it? Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's difficult. But needless to say, this is going to be gone by next month before next month and I'm gonna to have to find another shower gel to work on because I don't have any shower gels lined up in other project pans, at least not at this moment in time. So very exciting about this one almost being gone. Okay, next let's talk about this Anna Sui product. I originally thought it was a blush. It is not a blush at all. It is a setting powder. If you saw it, you would not be surprised as to why I thought that. Look at this. You can't see it. It is filled with pink. It is pink, 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 and then beige, beige, and white in the center. And I just assumed this was a blush. It is not a blush at all. It is a setting powder. My goal for this product was to use it 50 times, and I am up to 22 uses. So technically, I could have this finished by next month, but I don't think I will. I think it's going to take me two more months to finish, to hit my goal on this. I feel like the flower pattern that used to be very like imprinted and you know there was all these like ridges and details is really flattening out. I mean you could still see where the flowers were because of the color but the design on this powder and the imprinting on this powder is really flattening out and I almost wonder if I'm anywhere near hitting pan on this. I don't feel like I'm that close to hitting pan, but based on how flattened, how easily I flatten this out in just 22 uses, I almost think this would be relatively easy for me to pan. So I might roll this over into another project once I hit the 50 uses for this because it feels like it's going kind of quickly. I enjoy this powder very much. It's lovely. I am also working on a loose powder in another project. So I'm trying to focus on the loose powder and use this some of the time. But as soon as that loose powder is gone, I'm gonna be focusing in on this full time. So I'm really excited and sad. It's a beautiful product. I don't feel like I should use it up in a weird way. I know a lot of us feel that way with beautiful makeup. Like you want it so bad, but you don't wanna use it up. I'm kind of going through that right now with this. All right, and the last products I wanna talk about today are in my little magnetic palette. This is still a mess. I keep dropping this palette. I've dropped this palette like four or five times, only a couple feet, like it's on my bathroom counter and it falls to the floor. But as you know, that can do a lot of damage and this is very damaged. So in this palette, I have nine eyeshadows and seven of the nine are in this project. Some of these eyeshadows I have usage goals on and some of these eyeshadows I wanna hit pan on. On my eyes today, I have this powdery purple shade that is the cause of a lot of the mess in this palette in my transition area. And then I have this shimmery shade all over my eyelid. And then I have this light highlighted purple shade on my inner corner. Um, for the light purple shade and the shimmery shade, I wanna hit pan and obviously I haven't done that yet. For this purpley shade that exploded, I wanna use it 20 times. Yep, my goal is to use that light purple 20 times. And right now I am at six uses. So I still have 14 more uses to go. I would love to hit my goal for that eyeshadow in the next month. I don't know. I don't know if I could do that or not, but um, I wanna make sure I keep trying to incorporate this light purple shade into a project because um, it's very messy, very, very messy. But Yeah, it's all getting very crumbly, it's very sad. I have got to stop dropping this palette. The reason I keep dropping this palette is that it sticks to other palettes. So I tend to stack my palettes up on my bathroom counter. 
and the magnet in this palette is so strong that it'll stick to another palette that I have on top of it. And when I go to pull the other palette out that is on top of it, I accidentally pull this out with it and I don't see it because this is smaller and the palette on top is hiding it. And then when I go to grab it, it falls and hits the floor. So that's why that keeps happening. Amazingly, a lot of the other shadows haven't completely shattered, but they are getting crumbly and damaged, which breaks my heart a little bit. So I am trying to reach for this. I love purple eyeshadow and I love wearing purple eyeshadow, but I feel like I have a lot of purple eyeshadow in project pans still. I just keep throwing purple into all my projects and it's too much at some point, but I love this eyeshadow right here. I also have Cranberry from my Do Japan My Battleship project and I have the matte purple from my Pan That palette in this look and it's nice. I like it. For next month, I would definitely like to have these two products out of the project and finished. So that's my goal is to keep working on these two and finish them and get as much use out of everything else as I can. That would be amazing. I love this project and I'm having a lot of fun with it. And I'm really glad I decided to jump in even though I am so overwhelmed with project painting right now. And there's some good projects coming up that I would like to join in as well. But um, I really feel like setting usage goals was the way to go for this project because it makes it a lot more manageable. So I'm having so much fun. Thank you guys for checking up on me and watching this monthly update. I appreciate it and I will see you in the next one. Bye.